Hello everyone, Alberto Cairo here. I would like to introduce you to Morph, the new tool that we are launching today that allows you to create abstract data images based on any data set that you, that you want to use. A little bit of background about the tool. This tool is the product of, is part of an ongoing collaboration uh, between the Google News Initiative, the Google News Lab, myself and several um, a organization, several firms that do data visualization. We have worked with several designers from all over the world. If you want to learn more about this collaboration, this article in Fast Company explains what the collaboration consists of and it describes some of the projects that we have created so far with people such as Moritz Stefaner or Nadi Bremer or Shaquin Gonzalez. We have also launched other data visualization tools, for example, Flourish was launched a few months ago. This lets you create interactive data visualizations very easily. You can read more about it either in my blog or in, in Flourish's website itself. But our goals with Morph, which by the way was created by Datavice, uh, an organization based in New York City, a firm based in New York City. I'm actually going to open their website over here. Um, data list here. Um, so, a, uh, so what our goals with a Morph were not to design a, a data visualization tool per se, but a tool that allows you to generate random images based on data uh, a, that you bring from your own computer or, or that you use from the tool itself. So if you want to read more, just scroll down on, on Morph's website. There is a little video that explains a little bit about how it works. Uh, there is also here several links if you want to send feedback to the creators or suggestions for improvements or expansions or corrections. You can also submit your best art if you want. So here's how it works. It's actually quite simple and very intuitive, so I'm not going to explain a lot of detail. By the way, before I begin, the code for the tool is available on GitHub, so if you want to take a look at it, you can just click on that and it will take you to uh, the code itself. But anyway, this is how it works. You click on Get Started. And the first thing that the tool asks you to do is obviously to either upload a data set from your own computer with some, some limitations. This is a browser a based tool, so it will have some limitations in terms of file size and the amount of data that you can put into. Uh, you can basically drag and drop the file over here or click here and upload it from your own computer. So I click on that, you can upload it. Or you can select a sample data set. This is going, what I'm going to do to do this demonstration. I'm going to select a a data set of, let's say, the largest cities in the world or the World Happiness Report. Let me select the largest cities in the world, all right? So this is basically, a, it has three columns. It has the city, it has the nation that the city belongs to, and then it has the population. It's a data set with 200 and something rows. And after you have chosen your data, you click down here on Design, because the next thing that you need to do, I want to actually to increase the size of this so you can see it, all right? So this is how the data set looks like. And this is the design. So right now you could you could select a a graphic form, right? Any sort of graphic form. Let's suppose that you know radial area, for example, right? And what you will have here is several fields fields that you can fill out with the variables that you had before on your data set. You can either select them or you can randomize them. You can click here, click on fill random, and then the the uh, uh, the fields will be filled. By a, a random by the tool and as you can see it already creates something that looks uh, crazy and actually kind of cool I think that I like this image as I said before a morph is not a tool to create a data visualization intended to inform it's more about designing uh, interesting looking images that you can use for example on the front cover of a report or of a book or something like that or uh, for the opening slide of a presentation or something similar to that, right? So anyway, I have populated some of my fields. I have my image over here. I could customize this a little bit. For example, I could select here and add the labels, although that would be a mess because there are so many labels that the image will become completely invisible. Once you have the image created, what you do is to go to Evolve. And this is the key part of this tool. The Evolve part lets you evolve the image, as the name says. So you begin with the original image over here. And then let me just increase this a little bit. So if you click here, what it will do will be to randomize changes on the on the image itself. So you will see that in any of these iterations, in any of these children, 
that the tool has created, some particular feature has been varied. So it's either the rotation of the segments, for example, in this case, or oh, actually I evolved it again, All right? So it's either the rotation of the segments or the color of the segments or the X offset or the Y offset of the segments. Let me expand some of these leaves from this tree. And by the way, this is sort of an evolutionary tree, right? So you have the origin species and then you have the children of that species evolving little by little. But you can guide this evolution a little bit if you want. If you click on editor, all right, you click on editor and then you click on any of these iterations, it will expand it and then you can uh, play a little bit with the features over here. You can, for example, say, change features of the of the color, right? I'm, again, I'm moving this very fast, but it's just to show you what the possibilities are or you can change or play a little bit with the X position of things, all right? So that actually kind of looks kind of cool, all right? Um, y position, you can also play a little bit with that if you want, all right? Uh, let's do it that like that, I like that. And uh, now the scale, all right? You can change the overall scale. Now I'm going to minimize a little bit to see all the options. So you can change the, the overall scale of objects, all right? And then the rotation, you can also play with that. So each one of these will have a different feature. So I'm going to do something like that, looks cool. And then I click on save and what happens is that this becomes part of the tree. So you can further evolve it. I can click on that and it will evolve it further and further and further. You can also randomize the tree if you want by clicking on random, it will start creating branches everywhere randomly, right? So basically this lets you navigate the entire tree. And once you identify one, one image that you like and that you want to export after you have obviously edited, let's say that I want to edit, for example, that one, I like that one. I'm not going to edit it further, so I'm going to go and save. You can export the results. So to export the results, you go here to export. Then you click on the leaf that you want to export. And a Morph will let you either export a still image, all right, in different formats. You can export it as a raster file or as an SVG. If you want something that doesn't pixelate when, you incre when it increases in size, you can export it as an SVG. Uh, you can also export it as, a, as an interactive HTML. So each one of the segments will be interactive. You can hover over them. So if you click on SVG, you give it a name and then you click on S save SVG and it will be saved in your computer. There are certain features here that you can change, such as the resolution, whether you want a transparent background or not, whether you want a title, etc. You can change the title in there. But more interestingly, you can also save an animation. And if you click on animation, what will happen is that Morph will generate an animation showing the transition between the original image that you generated based on the data and the final image that you have evolved and edited. So I'm going to click on that, and there you go. I have my original image and the final image. And what I'm going to do is to uh, save a GIF, all right? And I will say that will save an animated, an animated GIF to your computer that you can use uh, to post in social media or whatever. So I hope that um, this little video has got you excited uh, about Morph. Uh, please give it a try. And if you have any feedback, as I said before, you can provide feedback through the website itself. See you soon.